Hey everyone, Brett here. Uh, we are starting the sixth and final week of the Aldara cream treatment for basal cell carcinoma skin cancer. Um, taking a look at the area, it has not gotten bigger, which is a plus side. Um, it's kind of scabbed a little bit here, but that's just, I believe, healing. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, side effects the last couple days, even more lack of energy. I barely got any energy left, but it's really the only issue I've been having. Um, itchiness just comes and goes, still no pain, which is a surprise given how ugly this looks. So I wanna take this time to answer a couple questions. Um, comment on a couple of comments on the videos. It seems the algorithm showing my videos on people's feeds. I'm getting hundreds of views, which is crazy. Hopefully some of those people, well, hopefully no one's going through this, but if they are, hopefully this is kind of helping them get an idea. So in the last video, I said that I wasn't given a lot of information from my dermatologist, which is true. Um, there's also not a lot of information out there online, hence me doing this. But um, there is enough information to get an idea of how things should be going. Um, I've had a couple questions um, I wanted to address. One person asked if I thought that ink from tattoos caused my skin cancer, which I guess could possibly be a thing. But in this case, now I'm pretty sure it's just my complexion. The fact that I never wore sunscreen and I... I travel a lot, so I'm in the sun, different suns, I don't know. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I got this when I was in Australia, honestly, uh, and this was four years ago. Also, four years ago, I did not have any tattoos on my face or near the area, so I don't know. I don't think it's tattooing, but uh, yeah. Um, had a comment today on one of my videos saying that the tumor is not supposed to be getting bigger um, with chemo. This is not chemo. Aldara cream is a immune therapy cream, which means my immune system is attacking the area. So if you go back to the first video, you'll notice the area is a lot smaller than this. And obviously it's gotten bigger and I've expressed concern about it getting bigger, but that's more so not wanting it to reach my eye. With this cream, it attacks the the area, and uh, with a lot of the skin cancer, it is hidden. It's not visible. So the immune therapy cream brings it up to the surface. So it getting bigger while ugly and not great uh, is good. This is what I want. This is the reaction that I want. I want it to expose all the area including that hidden i've also been applying cream around the area and it hasn't been breaking out it hasn't been spreading so that leads me to believe that this is as big as it's going to get a little bit of area here it's a little rough but i think that's just little spotches i've also been ex putting it here not really anything there luckily so yeah this is the reaction I wanted. This means it's working. Um, the only reason I'm concerned about it getting bigger is because it's getting closer to my eye, which would not be ideal, but I am glad that it has seemed to be working. It's exposing the area and it would make it a lot easier to go from there. So as mentioned, six weeks, final week. Uh, Friday will be my last day of applying the cream, which I look forward to. Um, from there, next week I have my first post-doctoral, the post-treatment, um, dermatologist visit, um, where they will take a look at it and we will go from there. Um, chances are, based on what I've read and heard, um, they probably just want to make sure that it's covered the area, which it has, and then from there, hopefully we wait till everything heals and I imagine a biopsy will probably be after that. But thinking optimistically I think it's pretty much done with I think 
based on how ugly that is. Cancer's been attacked, cancer's been killed. It's just needing to heal at this point. So, I'm thinking pretty positively about all this. I am very ready for this to be off of my head. Um, on the other area, it's discolored. It's not like anything else. I imagine that a prime, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Um, but I imagine that the pre-cancer of around that area is taken care of, so not worrying about it. Um, yeah. So I appreciate everyone that's been watching the videos, everyone that's commented positive stuff. Um, if you have any more questions, again, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a doctor, um, but I can answer based on my own experience. Um, if you search on Aldara cream and skin cancer or basal cell carcinoma, um, there are a couple of different um, instances where people kind of track their progress. Not so much in video format. Um, I believe there's someone that has videos that shows the difference in when they began with a tiny spot and a much bigger spot on their head, which meant it was working. Um, but yeah, there's other info out there um, if my videos aren't providing what you need. But yeah, um, I do appreciate everyone that's watched and all of that. So, I will see you all at the end of this week, the end of the final week, week six. Uh, yeah, hopefully it goes quick. Um, from there, um, I'll do sporadic videos updating ads progress is made after the cream stops as it starts to clear up uh what the dermatologist is saying everything like that okay well i will see you guys at the end of the week